guys, what's up? This is Red Black Productions, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to edit music in Sony Vegas 13. So to start off with, let's select our music and get started. So the music I'm going to be using is Severe Tire Damage by Kevin MacLeod. You can find all his music at Incomputech.com. It's got a lot of awesome creative kind of music on there. So let's drag this into Sony Vegas 13. So the first thing I'm going to be doing today is editing the length of the music. This is pretty easy to do. All you got to do is just left click the beginning or the end of the track and drag it down to the appropriate size. So we're going to be using about 15 seconds of the music. So the first thing I want to do is just uh, play the track and see how it sounds. So that sounds pretty alright sounds pretty normal but the beginning of the sound is a bit too loud so what I want to do is fade it in in order to do this all you got to do is just left click the beginning of the music and drag it in and this fades the music in now what I want to do also is show that there's different types of fading in as you can see here this is a bit of a smooth fade in but you can also get a linear fade in this affects how the music gets louder until it gets to the normal length there's many of these options and you can actually do the same at the end, a fade out. So by left clicking the end of the music and dragging it to the left, this also creates a fade out depending on how long you want it to be. And you also have the same options by right clicking the top of the music, it will select these options as well. Now let's say this music is too loud for you and you want it to be softer. How do you make it softer? There's many ways you can do this. One way is changing the volume over here. By putting this to the left, this makes the music less loud. And that's pretty straightforward there. By moving it to the right, you can make it more loud. There's also another way you can do this. You can increase and decrease the gain. The gain is always defaultly set at 0, 0.0 decibels. But you can also move it down. And this makes the music more soft. So by moving it down to about 10, you've made the music much softer than what it was before. And by giving a listen to it, compared to how it was normally, you can see that it's much softer now. So there's a few other things we can do as well. We can also mute the track, and when you do this, no music will play. So that's the mute button right there. So now no music is actually playing. Also another thing you can do is right click and duplicate track on the audio thing here. You'll also be able to solo the track so that only one of these tracks play. For example, if you left click and move this track out of sync, you'll also realize that it sounds very, very weird. So if you only want one track playing, simply click the solo button and this will make just one track play. So whenever you click the solo button, this only plays the track that you've selected, not the opposite track. So there's a few other things we can do as well. One of these things is centering the music. By moving the center to the left, this means that more music will play in the left headphone, if you have headphones in, or to the left speaker. You can also do the move it to the right, and this will make more music play to the right speaker, or right headphone. So that's pretty uh, straightforward as well. If you want to delete a track, all you've got to do is just press right click, and delete track, so that you only have one music uh, here again. Now another thing we can do is split the music. If you want to split music, all you need to do is right click where you want to split the music and select split. And what this does is allow you to make two separate tracks which can be used for different purposes. For example, if you want to cut music and edit it and all that kind of stuff, it works exactly like that. And when you split music, you can also fade it out just as we did before and fade it in. You can actually do that right there again. So there's a few other things we can do as well. For example, we can actually blend the tracks together. By left clicking the mouse, we can move it more into each other by doing this. And this will fade the music into each other. So by doing this, we can actually blend music together. It's a pretty cool feature. Another interesting feature with Sony Vegas' music editing is we can actually affect dynamically how loud the music is at any given time. In order to do this, we have to simply click this thing here called touch automation setting. And when we do this, we play the music. Right. 
So then when, once we've done this, we've actually affected the music in real time, how loud and how much gain it gets. It's a pretty interesting feature. Now one final feature I want to talk about is slowing down and speeding up music. So I started up a new track in Sony Vegas 13 and I'm going to drag the entire track into it. Now slowing down and speeding up music is actually pretty easy. All you've got to do is just press the control button on your keyboard, left click the beginning or the end of the song and drag it to the left if you want to speed it up and drag it to the right if you want to slow it down. And this will also increase and decrease the length of the song. These are some of the basic music editing options for Sony Vegas 13. If you like this video, leave a comment below and tell me which tutorial you would like to see next on what subject and what program. Thanks for watching.